Okay, so we asked Plato, what is being? Right. Well, let's give it a shot, right? Maybe you've tried a couple of different things, right? You say, well, being means to exist. Okay, well, existing just means being, right? That's just a synonym. Um, and synonyms don't give you meaning, right? That all synonym means is here's another word that means the same thing. So if we define being and turn, we say, well, to be means to exist, that's a synonym. That doesn't tell us what it means to exist. Maybe we say uh, to be means what is. Same problem. That's just a synonym. That doesn't tell us what it means to exist. That's just another word for exists. And this works for, I mean, this is true for all the being verbs, right? Is, are, was, were, be, being, been. <laughs> uh, you know, you have being in different tenses, but they all still rely upon, you know, some fundamental sense of being. All right. Uh, well, let's try and point to an example, right? So that thing, that thing right there, that exists. That, that exists. Okay. That's a start. Um, if I'm going to point to that thing and say, y y you know, that's what it is to exist, well, I, I should have a contrasting case too, right? And to define means to be able to say this is what all and only things that, that exist, right? If I were to just point up there and say, brog, okay, what does that mean? I'm going to point down here and say, gerb. If I just point and use a word, am I talking about the color? Am I talking about the plant? Am I talking about downward angle? Am I talking about left hand in this pose? <laughs> There's a huge indeterminacy with just simply pointing at something. So when, if you're going to define by pointing out examples, you need more than one thing to, to kind of point to. This is, this is kind of the basics of when we're trying to learn another language. You have to point to a bunch of different things and say, well, these are different from each other and these are their names. Okay. Well, I, I could spend all day <laughs> talking being, 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 being. That doesn't tell me what that is. I can spend all day going, uh, gob, 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 gob. You, you don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm talking about living things. Right. So just simply pointing to existing things isn't going to do it. You know, never mind the fact that, <laughs> well, let's, let's leave that aside. Well, let's try Plato's approach, right? And Plato's sitting here saying, oh, you have to use all and only things that exist. Okay, that's how I define being. But it's not like I could point to things that don't exist. Right? There's no non-existing things. I can't point to them. I mean, I could try to say something like, what? Uh, all these things exist, but unicorns don't. Okay, well, your Parmenides is lurking in the background saying, um, excuse me, uh, you can't talk about unicorns if you say they don't exist. It's like, well, where's the unicorn? It's not here because it's a nothing. Uh, maybe talk about the idea of a unicorn. Well, that's an idea and that's an existing thing. So, <laughs> uh, mm, we got a kind of a big problem there, right? Trying to define being in terms of all and only things. I don't know. Maybe you just kind of give up and say, I don't know. I just use the word. I don't know what it means. <laughs> okay. Well, since there's no sense to the word, it's very literally nonsense. If you take that approach. And if we say that it's nonsense, what are we saying? We're saying the you know a basic concept that's fundamental to every language that has or could exist is nonsense. I mean, you can't get a language off the ground without having existence in some way, shape, or form. Right. So how do we define being? By the way, in the background, Annex Amanders is sitting there saying, Look, I told you so. I told you that you can't define being in terms of just finite things, right? Because uh, <laughs> you're going to have this problem. You're either you're going to point to synonyms, which you know we've seen that problem, 
Uh, you can't point to particulars because all these particular things exist. Uh, so, hey, you know, good luck. Now, maybe, you know, maybe Plato just kind of shrugged his shoulders. Well, you know, being is everything. It's allness. It's unlimited. And Annex Man's like, yeah, I told you it was unlimited a long time ago. <laughs> sure, it's unlimited. It's the boundless. And, you know, the way Plato speaks about being is, yeah, it is this kind of reality unlimited. Well, that's, that's boundless at that point. That's boundless at that point. Hmm. So even trying to take Plato at his word and understanding reality, I don't know, looks like we can't get to the sun. We're always gonna be stuck in that cave.